Gratitude is good for you. So give up your cynicism if you have any or your skepticism. Pick up your pen and come on, let's write a little bit about how the glass is in fact half full. Welcome to The Right Thing To Do. I'm Elaine Kanavka. We're on a roll with gratitude. I'm making several videos about gratitude writing because where I am in the, in the time that I'm making these videos, we're coming up on Thanksgiving. And so that inspired me. And also because since I actually tried gratitude writing instead of uh, just thinking about it and going, uh, uh, I've been converted. I think it's a really worthwhile way to spend a few minutes uh, on a regular basis. So I'm here to give you some ideas on how to do that. Right now, we're going to take half a minute to write down three things that we're grateful for. So you're going to list three, could be people, events, objects, weather, okay? qualities, emotions, three things right now, today in your life that you are grateful for. Ready? Go. So what I'd like you to do now is take each of those three things that you're grateful for and write why they're in your life. How is it that they happen to be in your life? It's a bit strange as a question, but I'll give you an example that will hopefully make it clear. I'm thankful for my cat, Jack. <laughs> He's a great cat. Um, why is Jack in my life? How did it happen? How, how is it that he has come to be in my life? Uh, well, I found Jack in, on, on Craigslist, actually, uh, in an ad for flea markets uh, or a house, a house sale. And there was a picture of this adorable black and white cat. <laughs> I was looking for lamps. <laughs> and I found a cat. So this is the question for you for each of those three things on your list. How is it? How is it? If you're thankful for your coffee in the morning, how is it that that good coffee is in your life? If you're thankful for um, your partner, how is it that this person came to be in your life? Get the idea? Let's take two minutes for each item. If that's not enough time, you know what to do. Pause the video, take all the time you need, but Again, the reason why I do these short prompts is so that this slight urgency means that you've got to get to the essential pretty quickly and you cut through your inner sensor and you don't waste a lot of time wondering how to spell a word or, you know, about stuff like that. Just get to the essence. Write what comes to mind without censoring yourself. Here we go. Take your first item. Start.
Okay, that was item number one. Please move on to your next item. Why is this thing or person in your life? How did it come to be? And now you can move on to the third item on your list, writing in detail how this thing or person or event came to be in your life. Why is it there? And time's up. You can put down your pen, take a deep breath, feel what it feels like to have thought about the things that you're grateful for in this kind of detail and how they came into your life. What does it change in you? How do you feel now that's different from how you felt uh, eight minutes ago, 10 minutes ago? You can do this exercise as many times as you want. 
as many things as you are grateful for. And every day it looks a little bit different because every day there's new stuff coming into your life. Yes, there is. If you're paying attention, there is. So keep writing. Good for you for coming to the page. Thank you for joining me. I'd love to hear your comments and your feedback about these videos. So please leave comments down below. I'll also put a link down below the video to a very interesting white paper written by a group of researchers at UCAL Berkeley all about gratitude. It's a really, really interesting overview of the health benefits of gratitude, um, the evolutionary, possible evolutionary origins of gratitude, how we may have evolved. It has evolved as a, a positive trait and to keep our species going, how animals even express gratitude um, via something called reciprocal altruism. It's really fascinating stuff. So if that kind of thing interests you, that's a nice springboard for further reading. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Take good care.